I don't know about you, but for me, art is life. It is what inspires every single thing that I do every day. I met Mama Nike Davis Okundai in Nairobi, and she invited me to come visit her gallery, um, Nike Art Gallery. That's why I'm here today. It's a super honor to be visiting one of the galleries that is housing the most West African art pieces um, right here in Lagos, Nigeria. So right about now, I'm just gonna get into the gallery and see what it has to offer. And of course, Meet Mama. I'm super excited. Come with me. Hi, Ola. Nice to meet you. I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm good. Good to meet you. Good, to, good to meet you and to see you again as well. Yeah, you're welcome to Lagos. Asante sana, which means uh, thank you. Please allow me to introduce you to my very good friend. His name is Ola, and um, he's an artist. He's um, based in Nigeria, and um, some of his um, artworks are here. <laughs> to Nigeria. It's a pleasure having you. We welcome you especially to Nike Arts Gallery, where art is life. Everything about this gallery is life, from birth to death, from creation to, you know. So feel free, go around, look around, and enjoy the ambience, the comfort of the place, and the comfort of our mama, our mama Nike. How are you? Fine. Nice to meet you. Same here. Kenny. Yes. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. I'm from Kenya. Oh, wow, welcome to Nigeria. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to Nike Art Gallery. So we have over 25,000 pieces of artworks, all made by Nigerian artists. And as you can see, we have three more floors. I'll be your tour guide. I'll tell you more about the art tours because it's not just about painting, they add interpretations to it. So we are starting with uh, Mama Nike's artwork. She's the owner of this gallery. The gallery is named um, After Heights Nike Art Gallery. And um, these are some of her brilliant pieces. These are the Chibok girls when they were captured by Boko Haram. And this is actually one of Mama Nike's work. And it's made with bead. It's a bead work. You can just have a look into it. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it took her a year to finish each of this. It took her a, a year. 12 to 3 a.m. It took a whole year. Oh yeah. She said when she ran out of colors that she has only four colors. That was when she made this, the white life scene. This kind of reminds me of my home. Um, you know, Kenya, Masai Mara. This is exactly the situation when you go to the wilderness, you know, you get to see all these okay. wild animals. So we have another artist that makes use of, uh, use of Shako. This is Shako Pesu. What ceremony is this? So we don't really need invitation card for a party here in Nigeria. What we need is the clothes, the fabrics, the ashwebi. So these are the different people with their ashwebi. <laughs> festival that done for purity for uh, the whole community and here in this festival I think they, uh, we were told that if for a king if a king dies or a sheep die they actually do this for the rituals or something for the king but now it is done yearly and I wonder if kings die or sheep die every year but this at is uh, this um, festival is just like a tourist stuff that people come in to the country to celebrate with the Lagos people <laughs> to the 
top of Nikkei Art Gallery. This is the fourth floor. And as you can see around me, there are various wooden carvings and collections from very many years ago. Some of these precious items are as old as over 500 years and most of them are collected from different countries in West Africa. It's been such an honor to be here at Nikkei Art Gallery. Thank you very much to everybody who hosted me. Most of these carvings around me were used for spiritual purposes. So I'm already feeling the vibes. There's just some vibes around here. Um, it's kind of serene. So I don't want to keep talking and talking. VIP access to the Nico is capping off today in Lagos, Nigeria. Now I'm going to go find an artwork that I can finally call my own.